In today's video, I am going to show you how to dehydrate bananas. If you want to see how to do it, keep watching this video. Hi everyone, it's Chris here at Gardening at the Simon Getty North and doing another dehydrating video today. So this is something that I enjoy learning how to do and I want to become your new dehydrating BFF. And as I learn how to dehydrate stuff, I, you know, hopefully you can learn or if you're an experienced dehydrator, please leave comments and let me know on your tips and tricks on what you do um, when dehydrating. So today we are going to dehydrate. I got six pounds of certified organic bananas that I picked up from Costco. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to coin them up and I think I might do three or four bananas in planks. So then I can powder it up to show you how much like three or four bananas is required for like banana bread or pancakes or whatever you're making to show um, the equivalent of the powder uh, versus like a fresh banana. And I'm also going to do a couple of different things on these bananas um, to make them taste a little bit different. So let's go into the Simon Getty kitchen and I am going to get these sliced up and put on the trays and then put in my dehydrator right here. So let's go on in. So I will be following the directions in this book, the Complete Dehydrator Cookbook. I did get this from Amazon. So if you would like this book, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can click on it. But yeah, I am going to be following with this book. So in the book, it talks about um, bananas and plantains. Bananas and plantains are a starchy fruit that gets sweeter as they ripen. Bananas are usually eaten raw and plantains are usually cooked but these are not strict rules. Use them dried for snack chips, trail mix, energy bars, smoothies, baked goods, hot or cold cereals, and leathers. Use plantains like you would use potatoes. For leathers, combine the fruit with other fruits such as apples, oranges, pineapples, or berries. Preparation. Peel ripe bananas or plantains, put in the freezer for 10 minutes to firm before slicing. Cut into an eighth to a quarter inch thick slices across lengthwise or diagonally as preferred. Pre-treat for browning. Um, arrange on the drying trays in a single layer without overlapping. The drying temps for this is 125 to 135 for 6 to 12 hours until pliable or crisp, but not sticky with no visible moisture in the cut. So time is going to be, you know, it could take 6 to 12 hours, it could take 24 hours. So don't get hooked up on time because if they're not ready, they're not ready. And it doesn't hurt them to, to keep them going. So I'm going to be cutting these. I'm not going to put them in an uh, acidity whatever to, you know, try to keep them from browning. I'm just going to fill up a tray and I'm going to get it in the dehydrator right away. And then, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up the bananas. So you want to make sure that the bananas are not overly ripe and not underly ripe. So these are like just about perfect. I told my husband when he bought them for me to make sure that they were a little green because I didn't have time to do them right away. So we're just going to go ahead and cut these up. So I attempted to start this video about a week ago and did, I think, two trays of bananas. And because I only did two trays, I, I wasn't sure if we were going to like them. <laughs> Well, we like them, and uh, we ate them all with probably within two days. So I'm like, well, we're going to start over on this video, and uh, now that I like them and I've done it once before, I'm now experienced, <laughs> and 
at dehydrating bananas. You know, if your bananas were a little bit more ripe, I would probably think the freezer method would be a good idea, but these are pretty firm yet. So you can see the, hopefully you can see that. So they're anywhere between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. Oops, I eat that one. <laughs> All right, move these up a little bit. Make some more room. All right, that's one banana on the tray. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and start slicing up these bananas and uh, get to the next step. So here is one tray of bananas. There's three full bananas on this tray. I am going to go take them to the dehydrator and I'll be back and cut up some more bananas. Okay, here's uh, tray number two and I'm going to go ahead and put them in the dehydrator. These are just plain banana coins. And then I think next I am going to um, make some planks. Be right back. I think these are I'm going to use to uh, show you how to powder them up. That one's a little bit thicker. I might have to dry a little bit longer. Kind of fillet it. a little a little too thin but it'll dry good well some of these aren't flaying very well it's all right these are going to go into powder anyway so it doesn't really matter if they stay in planks or if they look horrible <laughs> Last one, and we'll get these in the dehydrator. Okay, so there are the planks. I'm going to go put them in the dehydrator. Um, these are just plain nothing on them. Be right back. Okay, so the next tray of banana coins are, they have peanut butter on them. Um, I know some people use peanut butter powder, but I don't have peanut butter powder. So what I did is I put some peanut butter in a little dish and then I added a little bit of water to try to thin it out just a little bit and then tried to um, yeah, peanut butter on my fingers. So I tried to put a thin layer of peanut butter on 
the bananas. So I am going to go ahead and get this in the dehydrator and I'll be right back. So for this tray, I'm putting some local raw honey on these bananas with this little brush here. And I got some honey in this little jar and just kind of this bowl. And I'm just kind of putting I've got them mostly all done. Just checking to see if there's any that I missed. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this in the dehydrator. Just separate these. There we go. And then I got one more batch. I think I'm going to put cinnamon on those. I'll try that. But I think I got all honey on all of those. All right, into the dehydrator it goes. Okay, for this last batch, we're just going to sprinkle some cinnamon. This is organic cinnamon. Just on the top. All right, we'll go ahead and get those in the dehydrator. Okay, as you can see, um, I got a new glass door for my dehydrator. Down here are the plain coins. These are the like planks or strips, the peanut butter, cinnamon, and honey. So I will check these at six hours and again at 12 hours. And we'll uh, check it out and see how they're doing. See you in about six hours to see how they are. It's been probably about 11 hours. I just turned this off a few minutes ago. Let me take the lid off. Still feels pretty warm in there. Here's the first set of bananas. We're going to let them um, cool a little bit more first. They still feel. And then here's the uh, strips or planks. They still feel pretty bendy. Let's uh, let them cool for a minute. Here's the ones with the peanut butter on them. Those might take a minute. There's the cinnamon. And there's the honey. Oh, those are, this definitely needs more time. Yeah. Honey definitely needs more time. I can tell it ain't gonna get any drier even when it cools. They're they're pretty uh they're pretty uh bendy. These aren't as bad. They're getting dry. But they're pretty bendy. Butter. Those definitely are going to take some time. These are definitely not quite ready. Not quite crispy yet. Here's the ones on the bottom. So they're sticking a little bit, but they're coming up pretty good. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and give this some more time. And let this go for the rest of the night and I'll come back in the morning and we'll see um, how they are. The ones down on the bottom, the plain ones, they will probably be done, but the other ones with the peanut butter and cinnamon might be done, but the honey and the peanut butter ones might take a little bit longer, so we'll see.
All right, we'll be back. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. And we're going to open the lid. Let's check the bottom tray. So these were the first ones. These are the plain chips. I'll just set one up here and let it cool down. Do a thicker one too. And then these are just the plain. Definitely stuck. Here are the planks. This was a total of three bananas. So th these are the ones I'm going to grind up. So let me pull off one of these. We'll let that cool up there. That's kind of a thick one. These are the peanut butter ones. Yeah, some of the peanut butter is still kind of moist. So these might need to go a little bit longer where the peanut butter is thicker. But we can kind of rub some of that off. Oops. And then let them go a little bit longer. Let's see. Where's one? Let's try this one. Yeah, this seems kind of... I think the peanut butter, definitely. I think the powder might be a better way to go because these will need longer drying time because of the oils and the peanut butter. Um, but yeah, we'll just let them go a little bit longer. These are the cinnamons, so these are probably, you know, they're coming off pretty good. Let's see, here's a kind of a thick one. I'll let that come up there. And over here are the honey ones. So the honey might be a little bit might let these go because they're kind of sticking. So I think I'm going to go through and unstick these and let these go longer too. Maybe even flip them over. Yeah, we'll just do... Yeah, see how stuck honey's making them stick. It's going to be fun cleaning these trays. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not going to make you watch, watch me do that. So let me find one. This one looks like it might be kind of on the dry side. So All right, so this was the first one I pulled out. Not really. Mmm. These are so good. Uh, maybe it needs to cool a little bit longer, but they're not. I mean, they feel dry. That sounded like a little crisp there. Here's the plank. That did a. There was a little crunch when I broke it. Let's see, the cinnamon. Yeah, these look like they're done, the cinnamon ones. And this is one of the honey ones. I think the honey needs to go a little bit longer just to give the honey more time to dry. So that's where we're at. I think these ones down here, um, the coins are done. So why don't I go ahead and get them in a jar? So right here I got myself a half gallon size jar. I'm not sure how much these two trays are going to fill it up, but if it's only like half full, 
I'll transfer them to a quart size jar because you want to put these in a jar that fits the volume of product. So you don't want to like fill it up halfway and then have all this space for air. So you want to fill it up to the top as much as possible. So let's uh, try the bottom tray here. So the reason a lot of people fail at um, dehydrating bananas is they don't let them go long enough. You know, so if they're not dry, let them go. Go do something else. Let them do their thing. So um, that's like really the number one fail that I've learned from um, other dehydrating YouTubers or um, studying. Um, all right, so what's nice about these, you can make them like a funnel and pour them in. And that's the sound you want to hear, the sound of them being dry. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to need a different tray, unless I just combine them all in the one jar, which I might do that. You know, have some plain, then have, I think that's what I'll do. I don't want a ton of jars with different banana coins in them. So, I think we'll. that's what we'll do. We're going to combine all the banana coins into one and then I'll be surprised in which ones you get. It's easier just to bend the the mat. They come off a little easier instead of trying to bend the fruit, bend the mat for them to oops to move. Put a lid on it, and then we're going to wait for these others to get done. And then I think these are done, and I'll show you how to grind these up. Okay, I'm just going to put these in and blend these up on my Ninja here. I can get all them in here. Well, maybe we'll just do half. Alright, I got myself a jelly jar here that I'm going to put it in. And there's the powder. Spoon. So there is a lot of sugars in here from the bananas. Um, so there'll be some clumping. So you'll want to use this, you know, within a couple of months or whatever. So let me go ahead and grind up the other and we'll see how much is in here. And then I'll label it and then I'll um, vacuum seal it. And then we'll use this for either pancakes or bread because this is enough to make um, banana bread or banana brownies, whatever. It calls for three to four bananas. We had three large bananas. So let's get the other. All right. 
got the last part of the three bananas. stuck on the bottom. Yeah, the sugars in here, they're sticking on the bottom of this grinder. Also, if you didn't have as much in there to fill it up, and it wasn't grinding as fine, you could use like a coffee grinder as well to grind this up, to um, grind up some that, you know, that you need to, you know, you don't need all this room like I have in the single serve. All right. Let's see. my lid but it's about half a jelly jars worth you can feel it starting to clump up so there this is enough to make banana bread so you can either put a moisture absorber in here or vacuum seal it so I think what we're gonna do is vacuum seal it Put the lid on. Let me go get it. Okay, so I have my electric sealer here that I've never used before. I think you just place it on there. All right, and then press the button. So this is sucking all the air out, which also does the same as, you know, like an oxygen absorber. All right, so it's definitely gone. Take it off. And it's sealed. See, I can pick it up by the lid, and uh, it's not coming off. So it's already caking up inside. There we go. So you might just want to... Every once in a while, shake it up, make sure it's still not caking up, and then use this within a couple of months and some bread or muffins or whatever you make fresh bananas with. This is three bananas vacuum sealed in this jar. So I hope you like this video. Um, at the very end, I'll show you um, the large jar here with the rest um, of the bananas filled up. And... Uh, yeah, so if you like this video, please smash that like button and share this video with anyone who might be interested in learning how to dehydrate bananas. I am going to let those other ones dehydrate longer and then once um, they are dry, I'll put them in this jar and I'll show you at the end how much we ended up with. So, so far we got... These are the plain bananas. Here's some powdered bananas. Those were the flanks or the planks, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> and yeah. 
So I'm very glad that you stopped by and happy dehydrating. God bless. See ya. Okay, final check-in on the banana chips with the honey on them. They feel like, oh, that one's a little sticky yet. Oh, that one, that one's good. Mmm, tastes good too. All right, so I think I am going to go ahead and put these in. And then any of them that feel um, still a little sticky, I'm, I'm not going to put those in. So there's a couple of them that maybe they should go longer. up. And we're going to let these go longer. All right, let's check the peanut butter ones. With the peanut butter, I actually took a spoon and took a lot of it off. So I smoothed it out. I think, yeah, I think these need to go a little bit longer, too. Very delicious, though. One more thing. When you are doing dehydrating, you want to make sure that you condition your um, dehydrating product and just make sure you shake them up every once in a while and make sure that there's none sticking. And if there is any moisture a little bit, it'll distribute and dry the rest of the way out. Um, if you do find anything sticking, um, you might want to put it back in the dehydrator. And, um, and if you start seeing mold, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to throw it out. Because if you see mold in one spot, it's definitely going to be um, in another spot as well. So um, definitely do some conditioning and put... Um, either an oxygen absorber in here or um, do the suction thing um, for the dry canning so the lid is sealed on here to keep all the oxygen out of there and to keep these from rehydrating because you don't want moisture in here that's the thing um, you don't want these to start rehydrating because that's when you're going to get mold as well so i hope you enjoyed this video happy dehydrating